doesn't love bath bombs? They hydrate and nourish your skin, plus they come in a variety of different scents and colors. Speaking of colors, you have the chance to paint your very own bath bomb at Juniper Apothecary this Saturday. Owner Brittany Sopko is joining us in the studio to show us how your own personal flair to bake bath bombs at home. So first I have to say, Brittany, when I heard we were painting bath bombs, I was very kind of concerned because I'm like, I don't think paint is good for our bodies to be using <laughs> in the bath, but explain what we're using. Yeah, some paint definitely, like just straight food coloring is not okay in the bath. Um, so this is actually a clay-based powder called mica, and then we just use the powder and then we mix it with some rubbing alcohol that you can just get anywhere. And that's what makes the paint. So then it doesn't activate the bath bombs when you paint with it, and it still is skin safe. Because if you just got some water and a paintbrush and started painting on it, it's a bath bomb. Yes. It would start, start to fizz right. and yep. do all exactly. that magical stuff. Exactly. So this is actually going to work as we paint. Okay. Yes. So how do we do it? Yeah. So what you do is you just kind of um, will take your brush and mix up the paint a little bit so the powder doesn't settle, settle to the bottom. And then you just start painting mm -hmm. however you'd and like on the bath. And beautiful leaf shapes for yes. fun. Yep, so our, okay. smell good. So our event on Saturday, we're doing um, leaf ones to celebrate fall since we're starting to kick off the fall season. And yeah, we're just gonna um, be able to come anytime between 10 and two and be able to paint your own bath bomb. Oh my gosh, I can't believe how much it shows up too. Yeah, it really does. It's very bright. So I read on the thing too, when you had them out, it said safe for eyes too, and your skin and face the um, stuff that we're using to paint with. So where can you get product like this to paint your own? Locally, no one really sells it, but um, you can get it off of Amazon. It's just called Mica, M-I-C-A, and you can definitely buy it on Amazon. Different like people that sell soap-related making products, different things like that, you can get it from there as well. If I want to rinse my brush, do I just put it in the yes. plain alcohol? Yep. Put okay. it in the plain one and then that'll kind of rinse it off in between colors. Now, this smells wonderful. Can you tell me what you kind of have? I know we've done bath bomb making here with you before, but do you have any particular scents you're using to make this one smell? This one is just a so fragrance good. blend and it's something a little bit fall scented um, just to kind of celebrate that. And so when you're looking at you scenting a bath bomb, you can either use a fragrance um, or you can use an essential oil. And a lot of times with these events, we're kind of geared to more towards kids. So kids really love the way that some of these fruitier fragrances smell. And all of our fragrances that we use in the store are safe. Some fragrances do contain some harmful chemicals um, called phthalates. And we definitely try and just use ones that I would use on my own kids and that are safe for you to use as well. So when you make bath bombs in the store, like the ones that you sell, is this how you make them color? Um, I, I really, some of them I do paint, yes. Otherwise, most times, like when I mix up the batter, I'll just add a little bit of this powder, the mica powder to it, and then that's what colors the whole entire batch. Oh, okay. So, otherwise, I, if, the, if you see a bath bomb that's two different colors, I'll kind of split the batch into half, and then do half um, one color, and then half the other color, and then kind of layer them inside of the bath bomb when I'm making it. So, okay. what's inside this bath bomb? Bath bomb, the main ingredients like we kind of saw is our baking soda and citric acid. That's what makes it um, fizz. And then we'll add some goat milk powder, which really helps nice and soften your skin. It also helps the bath bomb foam when it's in the tub. And then we also use um, arrowroot powder, and that's what makes it hard. Uh, air, um, apricot kernel oil, which is another oil that just kind of helps your skin stay nice and soft. And then water is what binds it all together, and that's what makes it, so it's like a more of a sandy-like texture when we mold it. And then when, um, when you go to take it out of the mold, it'll harden, and then the water evaporates from that. So this event that you have is actually geared towards kids, but this is a really, real. I'm like, I'm enjoying the smell, <laughs> and I'm being creative, yes. and I'm painting. So this is a really, really relaxing kind of fun thing for adults, too. But exactly. tell us a little bit more about the event you have. Yep, so we do these um, about once a month. We're kind of starting to get on a regular schedule of doing them um, the second Saturday of every month. But this Saturday, we're actually doing this fall leaf one, so you can come and paint your own leaf. Um, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., you can come in any time between those, and you'll get your own leaf just like this to set up, and then you'll get some paint colors to choose from. And then we kind of pack, once you're all done, we package it up, and you can take it home and use in your bath. And we do gear more towards kids, but honestly, any adults, any ages can come and enjoy and oh, have a lot of this fun. This is so much fun. 
And it's a really great value. I saw that it is $7. Seven dollars. Yes. And, you know, just to buy a bath bomb, it can be, mm -hmm. you know, these are handmade and beautiful. So you're actually getting a really good deal on this because you get to kind of make your own yes. at your normal kind of price, right? Yep, exactly. So now I know you touched on how this is nourishing for our skin and it's really um, good to use in our baths. But really, tell us a little bit more about the benefits for putting a bath bomb, not just how pretty and yep, it yep. looks and how good it smells. For sure. When you use a bath bomb, um, a lot of the a lot of the benefits really come from the type of bath bomb you choose. Um, some of the bath bombs that you can get at just basic stores uh, will have just the baking soda and citric acid, and then those are just fun ones. You use them for the fizzing. But a lot of the handmade bath bombs that you'll find um, at your local artisan will definitely have more benefits for your skin than what a standard bath bomb will. You'll have the goat milk powder that sometimes people add, and that just helps your skin feel soft when you get out of the bathtub. The oils, which helps make your skin nice and soft and really just nourish your skin as you're in the tub and really provide that relaxing experience. So, do you guys understand what I'm doing to my bath bomb? Oh, is it Packers? <laughs> is it a Packers it might bath be. bomb? Okay, well, I'm making mine Yours in looks a, like a fall nice fall leaf. leaf. Yeah, let's Color show our there. finished products. Okay. Yeah. Go pack, okay. go. No, okay. You know, I started with the gold <laughs> because it's fall and a fall color, and then I was like, well, green's fall too, like the leaves and stuff too. But mm -hmm. so yep. then it just ended up being a packer, packer <laughs> bath bomb. So I was going for more of like an ombre, <laughs> yeah, kind of a gradient. Really good. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you so much, Brittany, for coming yeah. in and teaching us how to paint bath bombs. Thanks for having so me. much fun.